Texas Monument is in the middle of the controversy to remove Confederate statues. 25 News reporter Jack Allen explains. The Confederate statue outside the Bell County Courthouse has been a piece of its history for more than a century, but today several Central Texans say they want the county to move on from what they call a symbol of oppression. The monument is dedicated to Confederate heroes and was placed in front of the courthouse in 1916, more than 50 years after the Confederacy was defeated in the Civil War. Slavery was the darkest point in American history. It's something that no one should be proud of, everyone should be ashamed of, but we don't atone for that by getting rid of historical monuments that, that start that conversation. But tonight, a few blocks away at Yeti Polk Park, a group of protesters hope to change the history of the monument by holding a rally calling Bell County leaders to remove it. I think it gives the community something to 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 come together to um, to take a, a practical action step. You know, what I mean, that's something very practical that um, that we can come together to do. The group had planned to march from the park to the courthouse, but when they learned counter protesters were going to actively work to protect the monument, they decided not to, saying they didn't want to give the conflict a chance to escalate. The whole point of us going over there was for us to unify together and to take a stand together. You know what I mean? So the whole point of this event was not to take sides and and promote division. This isn't the first time protesters have called for county leaders to take the statue down. In 2017, a different group asked for the monument to be relocated, but the county never made the move. I think people are willing to listen now, and so I think we, we have to leverage that and use that um, in our favor. The protest plans to go until 8 o'clock tonight. They're not going to be marching down to the courthouse anymore, saying they want to keep things as peaceful as possible. In Belton, Jack Allen, 25 News.